Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a Path of Exile guide in leveling and how to level a second character really quickly after you complete the story. As you can see, we're currently looking at a replay in the background. So what happened is I was recording this particular method of leveling and I've got my mic was muted. So I recorded about half hour of a guide and the mic was entirely muted. So what we're going to do is we'll use the recording in the background. We we'll also skip through some of the parts and we'll get to the point. So let's go through it. So what you're going to see is currently in the background, I'll be talking, I'll be sharing you guys that there is actually a few kind of the bridge stones. You can find the bridge stones in your inventory. And if you collect a hundred of the splinters, they form a bridge stone. There's two kinds of bridge stone, or at least for us to access initially. There's the normal ones, there's the charged ones that can be dropped randomly. And the normal ones are usually level 70 for the basic ones. There is a level 75 one, I believe. And I tried that. I actually got quite exalted off that from the shield the boss dropped. But I don't recommend going for the up normal ones because they're very costly. So the one I tried was about costing 30 chaos just for the bridge stone. What I recommend is Exfos charge stone and Exfos normal bridge stone. The Exfos bridge stones is a level 70 map that you can run. And you can start that when you're level 60, right after you finish the story. So you might have a bit of trouble right at the start on starting that. But what's going to happen is you could get a friend who is, you know, level 80 will do level, you know, who is high enough level to just do the level 70 maps with you. And those will help you level so much faster. After you level high enough to, for the gear requirement for your endgame gears that you've been, you know, saving for your account. Or if you manage to buy some gears for your account. If you can run it yourself, run the Exfos Bridgestone, which is level 70, until you get to about level 74, 75. Then you want to be looking into the Exfos Charged Bridgestone, which is a level 74 map. And this Bridgestone is actually very cheap. The Exfos Charged Bridgestone costs about three, or maybe sometimes two chaos each. And although it might be a little pricey for new players, but if you're running a second character, it's very rewarding to be able to level your character fast. And costing two to three chaos per bridge storm is actually really good because you save about one to three hours leveling the character. If you're just mapping, you have to start with the low tier maps, then you get to the higher tier maps. And it takes a long time because you're finding monsters, you have to go mapping, you have to do a lot of things. And you can still drop items in the bridge stone. So what I'm going to show you guys is the replay of us fighting one of the bridge stones. And here I want to show you. You can see that I'm currently on level 76 already for during this recording and on 32%. I'm going to go into it and let's see how much we get out of it just with one bridge stone. So I'm already higher level than the map itself, but I'm still getting a lot of it. And yes, this is my new character. It's a COC cast on critical strike cyclone with the ice nova. As you go into the bridge stone, you're just going to activate it. The monster going to come and you can see the cast on critical strike is so beautiful. <laughs> the explosions. And what I, want you, what I want you guys to focus is on my current experience bar. Notice how it's visually going up and this will be the case for you as well. If you're going to it, yes, it does drop item and that bone chill was selling for four or five chaos so he actually made his money back <laughs> people wanted to buy items but they didn't have time only downside for my melee build is i have to go back and loot items so i set the restriction on loot filter pretty high for this one so i just don't get spam by items and look at the experience guys that's the biggest thing i'm currently level 76 i'm not a low level character so you can start this even at level 70 or 74 but it's really good if you get to around 75 it takes you much further I'll also show you the summary of how much experience I got after running about 10 of those bridge stones. I'll show you guys that as well. So starting at 33%, I'm halfway down the map. I'm also halfway or even more than half. I got 50% of my experience already. So this is what I realized advanced players are doing for leveling their characters. You can even do this on your main character, but I don't recommend it because it does cost a few chaos for each of the maps. Sometimes three chaos, sometimes two chaos, depending when you buy the bridge stones. You do want to buy the charged ones because no one, normal ones are level 70, the charged ones are level 74. And I do recommend the FX foes. The item drops uh, may be the biggest difference. The experience is pretty much the same, so I don't recommend buying the big the bigger ones or the other ones which are more expensive we're just here for the xp and we how far are we <laughs> this is actually longer than i thought but the longer it is the better it is this is one of those maps i just wanted to, to keep going because the longer we fight the more experience we get so 
we got to the boss, and the boss is quite simple. Simply because I can freeze the boss, I can just pop the potion. The boss is not too difficult. The boss has possibility of dropping something nice as well. I've gotten the white exalted shield of one of the bosses. So there you go, we leveled up, guys. And how long did we get? We took about three minutes, and it's pretty much three minutes for about 80% experience. And I was doing this repetitively with all the bridge stones. So to summarize, I did about 13 of those bridge stones. So I bought some more after. I got to level 86 within one hour. So 76 to 86, that's 10 levels within one hour. How much did I spend? I spent about 20 to 30 chaos in total but about 25 to 30 chaos so i was buying those bridge stones for three chaos mostly because i was in a rush to buy them and sometimes if you look around you can buy them for two chaos so 30 chaos for one hour i got 10 levels from 76 to 86. now if you were to level this by yourself in mapping you might take two to three hours the time i saved can be used in farming tier 14 maps because I'm high enough never with the perks and talents to perk myself even higher for defensive and offensive purpose, I can farm tier 40 maps now. And that in return can earn me 1 to 2 exalt just by farming the tier 40 maps. So this speed up the process between level 60 to level 86, and this allows me to just get right into the endgame with the second character, farm efficiently, and just earn more exalt in that way. So 30 chaos investment in an hour is definitely worth it. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll have the full build for the COC Cyclone Freeze Nova very soon. So there's two variations for this one, just a quick summary. One variation is that I'm actually going for life and energy shield, and I'll show you guys the item I'm using. I also switched into just full energy shield with Chaotic Incarnation, which turns my HP to 1, but I'm immune to the Chaos damage. There's advantage on both builds, and it's really satisfying with the AoE. You can see that as well. So focus that on a special guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this leveling explanation. I did have a few other videos which I could show you guys, but it's pretty much repetitive. You can just see how much the experience bar just flies as I level each of the maps. It takes about three minutes. It's so satisfying if you have a good clearing build with yourself and if you clear them yourself. They are level 74, so not too difficult. I think it's about tier 4-ish in terms of difficulty for tier 4 map. And it should be okay for most builds once you have prepared enough items. Thank you again for watching, guys. Hopefully you find this helpful. All the best, best wishes, guys. Stay healthy. Keep yourself hydrated. Have lots of vitamins. And, you know, just, you know, stay at home. And have a good time with Path of Exile and maybe with my videos as well. Thank you again, guys. I'll see you guys next time.